Weatherfest 2017. A Eurocopter, it's an MH65 uh, D model. Have you flown at 140 miles per hour? Oh yeah, the other day. <laughs> What's that like? Uh, it's, it's interesting uh, when, you, uh, when you start doing turns and stuff. So. How can these kids learn to do what you do? Uh, all you got to do is uh, be good at school, you know, obviously try to get the best grades you can. Um, I, I came in enlisted, so all you got to do is go to your local recruiting office and then from there uh, you just you know what, they'll, they'll tell you how to get there. Class is hard? Uh, so I actually, I'm a mechanic day by day. Um, mm -hmm. I actually work on these, and then when I have my 24-hour duty, I fly on them. Um, so classes for that is, it's like a normal A&P mechanic. Uh, you learn everything from working on engines down to airframe to doing structural repairs. So it's it's as hard as, as you want to make it, I guess is the best way to put it. Anybody can do it. So. Kids, who's in fourth grade? Who's in fifth grade? Great. So these fifth graders right here, what are some of the things that they're learning now in class that are key to what you do? Um, if you can remember when you were a fifth grader. A lot of, uh, so when I was doing structural repairs and that kind of stuff, is a lot of math. Um, it's not anything crazy, but it's your simple, simple, basic math. That's uh, the best uh, doing that kind of stuff. Um, and, and the other thing is, is just attention to detail. You want to make sure stuff's put together correctly and in the right order and that kind of stuff. So a lot of attention to detail when it comes to, I mean, even art class. Shoot, I can help you out there, you know, attention to detail. Oh, so. cool. Who, kids, who'd like to fly a helicopter one day? And, and, keep, and, and, listen up. And, and, keep your hand up if you like math. And, keep your hand up if you like art. So remember what remember what the pilot said. If you love math and you love art, you can do what he does one day. I have one question. As a homeschool, everyone, as a homeschool, uh, uh, we have students that are being homeschooled. Right. What um, what kind of classes or once they leave? high school, where would they go to be able um, to do this? Uh, once you finish your diploma of any sort, uh, you need to go down to your local recruiting office for what I do, and uh, you just talk to the, the different services. So the difference between us and other services that are out there, like the Army, the Marines, and everybody else, um, we work on the full plane. As my job, I work from the, you know, the head of the plane all the way down to the tires. A lot of the other services, you only work as a tire guy, or you only work as an engine guy, or you only work as that kind of stuff. So that's what's kind of neat to me. That's the reason I got into this, is I get to work on everything. So, um, but as far as that goes, you just take your normal ASVAB that everybody has to take to get enlisted, and then you go in that way. Are there ROTC programs in college? Oh, yes. Uh, so I, I am not a pilot. Mm -hmm. I, I sit second seat, but the actual pilots, uh, they will go through ROTC. You can get in that way. Um, you can go to the academies. Uh, there's a Coast Guard Academy as well as West Point and a bunch of the other other ones um, to go to and from there you can get into the piloting programs and that kind of stuff. So. What's the funnest thing about your job? Uh, I like to hoist people. It, it's actually a lot of fun when you go out on trainers and that kind of stuff and everything. I don't really like the 2 a.m. like hey we gotta go find somebody in the water but I don't think anybody does. Nobody wants to be out at 2 a.m. lost so that, that's what I don't like. So. Could you imagine having to be hoisted up on that hook? <laughs> crazy? Yeah, and I'm in control of it, so oh, you know that, that might be even worse. That's a lot of power. <laughs> About how long is that? My my homeschooler here wanted to know how long is that? Uh, uh, 245 feet yeah. is how far down it goes. So yes. Uh, so you can just jump out the plane? No. So our swimmers actually sit in the back. They jump out of the plane, and those are the guys that I pull out and I pick them up and down. So. Yeah. So for these kids, how important is it for them to learn how to swim? Uh, actually, in all branches, you have to learn how to swim. In the Coast Guard, people think that there's even more swimming and all that kind of stuff. There actually isn't much more. It's, it's about equal for all branches, especially being in aviation. You have to learn how to swim with your full vest, helmet, everything. So, so you actually need to, you need to learn how to swim. It's a, it's a good thing to have. Good. All strokes? Uh, not all strokes. Uh, the biggest thing, uh, they'll, they'll teach you the strokes that you need to learn uh, once you get in and that kind of stuff. The biggest thing is just being having that water confidence, being and, able to get in and, and doing it. And treading water for how long? Uh, treading water is two minutes for us, but uh, you know that that's you know it's a little bit different for everybody. So, yeah. 
So we can fuel, we fuel in pounds actually. Um, we can fuel up to 1,900. Uh, that's not our typical load. Our typical load is about 1,600 pounds. So we can got about a two hours, a little over two and a half hours of flight depending on how much weight we have on board. Yes. Is this a helicopter? Yes, this is a helicopter. All right, everybody. Yeah, I, uh, the, the terms are interchangeable. We, we use it both ways. The difference between ours and a lot of other ones is we actually do have wheels on board. So we can do running takeoffs and landings just like a normal plane would. What are the terms so, you're talking about? Uh, helicopter versus plane. Okay. We need to wrap this up, okay, everybody, because we have a real strict schedule. Does anybody want to get a picture? I know you probably all do, so we might have to just do it in front of the helicopter, which would be quicker. Does that make it quicker? All right. We've got a all right, that's just the first part of Weatherfest 2017 with the Coast Guard. A lot more to come later today.